Batman. Kids need their presents back, sweetie. <laughs> All right, let's kick it. Let me tell you about Gotham. They're Penguin these days. A city of merciless light. It all happens so fast. They go by the Court of Elves. Our eyes are everywhere. First, it was chasing Deadshot with Batman. What's the matter? Can't keep up, Batman? Steady, Robin. You don't want this fight, then, bird boy. Ancient conspiracies. Beware the cold of owls that watches all the time. A night that never seems to end. You know, Gotham loves a comeback story. <laughs> the court wanted to get to us, and they did. More ways than one. Next town. My own family. A lineage of corruption and mistrust. Are you sure, kiddo? I know you're ready, son. And Babs. Already then, Richard. I wish she were around for me to tell her how I really feel. <laughs> wow. Everything hinges on tonight. The night Batman lost. The night Gotham lost. Just terrible. One day you're on the top, the next day you're on the bottom. The greatest riddle of all time! The greatest riddle of all time! Hey, hey! Don't be sad. You did so well. <laughs> you know, Gotham loves a comeback story. <laughs> Who are you? Well, that's the question, isn't it? Riddle me this. The less of them you have, the more one is worth. A friend? <laughs> you got it! <laughs> Do you know what the greatest riddle of all time is, my friend? What is that? Who is? The Batman. <laughs> <laughs> that is the greatest joke of all time, Riddler. But you see, it's missing the punchline. I must know. You will know, my friend. We will know. And once we do, we will laugh. <laughs> <laughs>
there will be no salvation from the Batman, Bruce Wayne. this guy? Floyd Lawton. Dead shot. What's the matter? Can't keep up, Batman? Oh, <laughs> we're just giving you a little head start, dead shot. The world's best marksman. You sure about that, Batman? I'm sure, Robin. <laughs> They don't call me the world's greatest marksman for nothing. Steady, Robin. <laughs> nice touch. That car of yours is bulletproof. Dead shot. Uh, what was that about being the world's greatest marksman? Uh, the Kid Crusader and the Boy Wonder. you go the phone was just getting started come out come out wherever you are not a bad insight not in sight huh yeah. Robin where do you think you're going you don't want this fight, Bird Boy. Sunday, the Gotham Gazette includes a small lifestyles piece called Gotham Is. In the column, random Gothamites are asked to complete the sentence Gotham Is using three words or less. The Gazette has been running the Gotham Is column for years, ever since I was a boy. Here are some of the words used to describe Gotham the past few weeks. Damned. Cursed. Bedlam. Murderous. Gotham is villainous. Gotham is a losing game. Gotham is hopeless. You're all ours now, bad freak. No way out, bats. Ah, uh, there's no place like home. Yeah. <laughs> Once in a while, someone will name one of the city's villains as their answer to the Gotham is question. Usually it's some kid, a teenager, going for shock value. But now and then, Someone actually tries to make the argument that the city is best reflected by its villains. 
For example, Gotham is Two-Face, meaning Gotham is a city at odds with itself. Or, Gotham is Catwoman, meaning this city will never die. I've seen a few clay faces, two Riddlers. Lately, I've seen a couple new names appear too. But for me, Gotham's criminals, whether old or new, will never define this city. Because in the end, they're simple and cowardly, ruled by predictable desires. Who the hell do you think you are? I figure you know who I am by now. I am the cure to Gotham's disease. I'm Batman. Granted, now and then, one of them will do something that will catch even I off guard. Something particularly depraved or twisted. The Batman, here at long last. Oswald Cobblepot. You like the new... new? Have some respect for me, Bat. You may refer to me as... The Penguin these days. I see you've met my man. Quit talking. What if it's about what I want to do for this city? You'll be locked behind a padded cell in Arkham before you can do anything for Gotham. Look at me, Batman. I don't care what my public image is anymore. Look at me, for Christ's sakes. I don't want to end up like Nygma. You soon will. I'm merely doing what's best for this city. That ends here. Of course, one of the most common answers to the Gothamist question is Batman. Gotham is Batman. <laughs> I like to think a vote for the Batman is a broader affirmation. A vote for all Gotham's heroes. A vote for the GCPD and honest, tireless men like Commissioner Gordon. You're gonna have to run that by me again. What the hell do you mean? Cobblepot is back? Turns out he wasn't dead, but hiding in the sewers. He's more animal than human now. Someone say a penguin. Oh, I get it. Now that Gotham knows who he really is, he won't be going for that mayor persona anymore. Mm -hmm. Things aren't getting any quieter, Jim. Me and the GCPD are holding down what we can. The city is seemingly more chaotic by the day. And you're doing a fine job, Jim. Just hold out a little longer. No, no, no. You rank stooges prop the weather trap first. Raindrops. Evidence? No match. Jeez, they grow them stupid nowadays. Jesus! Hello, Harvey. Back to stealth mode, I see. Come on, let's go look at some art. The landlord found him on a routine rent run. He went by the name Sam Strings, but when we ran it, turned out to be phony. Guy has no credible ID in the apartment, nothing on his prints either. He paid everything in cash. A true blue John Doe. Evidence points to a TOD five, maybe six days ago, when someone decided to use him as a human dartboard. Thing is, whoever did it missed every one of John Doe's major arteries on purpose, meaning they wanted to hurt him very badly for a long, long time. The pot stickers are- Antique throwing knives, professional grade. The grooves are filled with mercury for steadier flight. I'd like to take one. Hell, it's not like we're gonna run out. Make anything of this symbol? It's an owl. Har har, Bats. I meant, do you think it has anything to do with the old wives' tale about the... I know what you meant. Run DNA analysis. Looks like skin beneath the victim's fingernails. Possibly the killer's. <laughs> what? What is it? Give me your cigar. My cigar? That smell is linseed oil. A common paint thinner but the intensity is too strong. So our guy spilled a can of paint in it. So what? Maybe. Or maybe he was using it to leave a last message, a warning before he was murdered. Dick. What's going on, Batman? Are you at the manor? No, but I'm heading back there now. 
I just took out Tweedledee and uh, Tweedledum. Is Alfred there? Batman, what's going on? Bruce? Alfred Pennyworth. Free. Where is he? Free. Ah. Ah. That trick may work on the penguin, but I am no penguin. What have you done? Alfred Pennyworth would have been freed at the end of the night. You were to be freed as well, but you were not in the nest. Sway. What have you done? Just like Alan. Just like Thomas. And just like Martha. <laughs> R.I.C. all time. Bruce. Thank you, Christoph. You're the host. I'm kidding. I am kidding. Here you go. <laughs> you know, the first time anybody's ever snapped that buzzer and didn't use their hand. <laughs> <laughs> I probably need two. Do we know where they could be? There's no sign of Bruce. Who could have done this? Unfortunately, there was nothing in the rubble that would have indicated who did it. I lost my parents to a thug. And then I found family with Bruce and Alfred. But with Alfred gone, I just can't lose anyone else. I have to find Bruce. Hmm. There's something Bruce would have wanted you to see. And that is? What the? place to do your stuff. You know Bruce, he always has a backup plan. Ugh, tell me about it. It's not as sophisticated as the other, but it still holds up. Thanks again, Lucius. It means a lot. Not a problem, Dick. broken out of Arkham. Ah, the boy Wonder without the caped crusader by his side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, he's on a little vacation. <laughs> a vacation? Without me? You bet. <laughs> you know, you get in the way of me and him. What are you talking about? You get in the way of what me and the Batman have. What you and him have? I don't know if that was a joke or not, but man, do I find that hilarious. You did not understand the joke, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> the 
was no joke there in the first place. <laughs> it looks like you missed the punchline, boy blunder. <laughs> a crowbar? What are you, a handyman now? Shut up, dork knight. Uh, ooh, <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> this is going to hurt you a hell of a lot more than it's going to hurt me. <laughs> I think what just happened hurt you a lot more than it hurt me. Oh, what do we have here? A bat girl. A bat girl indeed. <laughs> Try to make a better joke. Uh, I got you, Robin. Ha! Oh, wait. I'm looking at one. <laughs> no, no, no! No, no, no! <laughs> you let them get away! You were supposed to knock Robin out. Then I was supposed to unmask him, and by knowing who he is under the mask, he'd be one step closer to answering the greatest riddle of all time. And then the other one flew the coop. So there was a change of plans, Riddler. I have to know! Bruce Wayne is Batman? Bruce. Bruce Wayne is Batman. <laughs> Bruce Wayne is Batman. <laughs> the answer to the greatest word of all time is that Bruce Wayne is the Batman. What a glorious day. Hmm. Why did they want to hurt you so badly, John? Isn't that the question, Harvey? What in the hell? Your efforts in this case do fascinate me, but I hate to tell you that you are far from right. Ah, oh, Christ! Who the hell are you? You are not the one we seek, Harvey Bullock, but you get in the way of us. What are you talking about? Oh, what Gotham is. What? The Court of Owls. <laughs> Awoken. Bruce Wayne opens his eyes. The bat. The true enemy of the owl. What is this? All our eyes were cognizant that Bruce Wayne was the Batman. There is no way. That's impossible. Our eyes see all. Why did you come after Alfred? Why did you want to murder me? The Waynes have been getting in our way ever since Alan and have seemingly continued to. My grandfather. Indeed. What is this? Have you heard the rhyme, Wayne? Beware the court of owls that watches all the time, ruling Gotham from a shadowed perch behind granite and lime. They watch you at your heart. They watch you in your bed. Speak not a whispered word of them, or they'll send the talon for your head. The Court of Owls. The nursery rhyme is all true. For centuries. The Court of Owls has sentenced you to death, Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Yeah, drop. Who? Who?
Master Bruce. Alfred! You need to get out of here. They are coming for your head. Your eye. Master Bruce, we need to get out of here. Ah! Speak not a whispered word of them, or they'll send the talon for your head. Ah! Ah! Uh, uh, Al! Al! Alfred! Gotta take it easy, Robin. John Doe almost killed you back there. Uh, you're right, Batgirl. Uh, you almost got a crowbar to the head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just wanted to say thanks for saving my butt back there. It's what I do, Robin. When that signal goes up, I know people need saving. That signal is more than just a light in the sky. It stands for something. A symbol of hope. I've heard rumblings and stories of you, but I didn't know if you were real or not. Really? Why wouldn't I be real? Well, you know how it is in a city built on myths and legends. Oh yeah, I was all over Batman when he first came around. Have you ever actually crossed paths with him? Seen him from afar, but never up close. Looks like I've one up to you. How so, boy wonder? Because I get to work side by side with him. So a sidekick? Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know my story. Now what's yours? My parents were, uh, murdered. It's been about a year now, and I still don't know who did it. I'm sorry. It's alright. I keep going because whoever was responsible for my parents' murder is still out there. And maybe, just maybe, one of these nights I'll find him. You'll find him. I know you will. You only told me a piece of your story. Since I went that deep, maybe you should tell me your deeper reason. I was... inspired. What the...? An owl? Bruce? Bruce Wayne? Bruce, what happened? They're... everywhere. Who's everywhere? Bruce, what happened? He's hurt. His face. Yeah. Don't worry about me. You're hurt too, Robin. We need to get him somewhere, but we can't bring him to the hospital. We'll bring him to the cave. Yeah. Did they do this to you? It was John. He tried to kill me with a crowbar. The Court of Owls? Does that name sound familiar to you? Have you heard the nursery rhyme? The nursery rhyme. Beware the court of owls that watches all the time. Are we really going to believe that Bruce Golden Boy Wayne is Batsy because some writing told us so? There are no coincidences in this city, my friend. No, no, no. What? What? They left the flames. They were the ones who left the flames. How could some owl do that? They hear all. They see all. Who, Riddler? Who? The rhyme, my friend. The rhyme. What are you talking about, Riddler? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> the talent. So you're the bad girl. Yep, that's me. Cheap name. How? You've only seen me from afar, the same way I've seen you. Till now. I guess someone else knows now. I had Ted Cord, Oliver Queen, and Lex Luthor on my list, but Bruce Wayne never struck me. How come? He just seems so normal. 
You saved Robin and I's life, so you must be acting in goodwill. Only the best intentions. Thank you, bad girl. I think that warrants for the both of you to know who I am under the mask. My name is Barbara Gordon, daughter of Commissioner James Gordon. <laughs> Whoa, I didn't expect that one. Funny. I always figured. I know you've been working side by side with my father these last few years. I was inspired by what my father does for the city and its people and what you do for it as well. I wanted to do the same. Just like your father. So, uh, I guess you should know who I am. And you're Dick Grayson. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? I pieced it together when you said your parents were murdered a few years back. The acrobatic skills, and then after finding out Bruce was Batman, the only option for a sidekick would be his ward. Bruce is right. You're like Jim Gordon Jr. I mean, yeah, you know, he is my father after all. <laughs> <laughs> if my dad ever found out. And Bruce? I'm sure you are well aware of what happened to my parents as a boy. I am. Without that faithful knight, there would be no Batman to protect Gotham. Look who's back. Lucius. You went AWOL for a night or two. Sure did. What's the latest, Mr. Wayne? Things were bad, but I didn't foresee it getting worse. Do we know who took Alfred? Yes, and he is alive. What? There's been a secret society running Gotham right under our noses for centuries. They go by the Court of Owls. I've heard the tale. Mm hmm And you, out of all people, didn't know about this? You keep tabs on almost everyone in this city, Bruce. After they got me, I was confined to an ever-changing dreamlike room. What did they look like? They all wore different clothing, typically well-dressed, but the key feature they all had was a white mask in the shape of an owl. That explains the owl that flew by. I was told the bat is the true enemy of the owl. How'd you manage to get out of there? I used my gauntlets to break loose. I knew those would come in handy. I barely made it out of there alive. There were hundreds of them. Jesus. From there, my surroundings kept changing around me, as if I were hallucinating. But I wasn't. It was all real. What the... That was where I saw Alfred, with barely any life in him. He was chained up against a giant owl statue. One of his eyes were missing, but before I could get him out of there, the talon came for me. My surroundings changed once again. Alfred is alive? We need to go get him before it's too late. We can't just rush into this, Dick. You heard how many of them there were. You don't know what we're getting into. You said it yourself, Bruce. He had barely any life in him. We need to find out more about the court before we go chasing ghosts. I thought I lost you right there. I don't want to lose anyone else. We'll get him back, Dick. We will. Did you see or hear anything else? The last words I heard spoken were the Waynes and the Graysons are not what they seem. What? Well, if you guys are hiding anything... What? There's nothing my family could possibly have to hide. We've been in the circus for as long as I can remember. Are we in any danger, Bruce? No, Dick. We will get to the bottom of this. They also know of my parents and grandfather. Could they have been hiding something? I don't know what there would be to hide, Lucius. My parents always wanted the best for Gotham and its people. Penguin, at the Wayne Ball, mentioned what happened between Alan Wayne and Stanley Cobblepot. What if there was more to that? What Penguin said was true, but highly exaggerated to put a stain on my family's name. Hmm. <laughs> We find out what the Court of Owls is really about, and then, and only then, we go get Alfred and put an end to them once and for all. <laughs> I've known about them for years, my friend, yet no one would believe me. I could see why they wouldn't. The whole idea of a secret society running Gotham from the shadows is a tad bit ridiculous. Wouldn't you say, old man? Impractical. Have you seen what this world has brought us? The Justice Society of America, Superman, the Doom Patrol, Bruce Wayne running around as a bat in news doing what is right for Gotham? A secret society is not very out of the ordinary, my friend. Hmm, it makes sense for Brucey Boy to be our man. And why is that, my friend? 
the punchline was right in front of our faces, Riddler. <laughs> the answer to the greatest riddle of all time. His parents were killed right in front of his face when he was a teensy little frightened boy. <laughs> he became the Batman to ensure his fate would not be repeated. <laughs> mm -hmm. What made you go after Batsy? All my life I was ridiculed. I wanted to expose those individuals for who they really were. Show Gotham what the GCPD really was. Batman got in the way of that. Sounds like something he do. <laughs> After that, I joined forces with the Penguin. We had become an enemy of the Bat. But in the end, he foiled us. I became intrigued with him. I wanted to know more and more and more. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? There could be only one. No, no, no! <laughs> you foiled me again! Mom just gotta keep calling you friend. Who are you? I am your friend, aren't I? What made you go after him? Oh, Riddler, Riddler. <laughs> Tell me! He who smiles. Is that who you are? That man brings me that smile. Are we going to stop him? Oh, we will, my friend. I know exactly where we will find him. And where would that be? He is likely going after the court, and luckily, I believe I know where their base of operations is at. Well, isn't that magnificent? <laughs> the Court of Owls is at the center of Gotham's corruption. This is everything I've been waiting for. We'll be taking the bat in the court out all in one! <laughs> you know, you really are good, Riddler. <laughs> What is Gotham City to me? Bruce Wayne. In a single word, home, family, purpose. But the truth, the real truth is, I couldn't answer the question. But then I remembered something, friends. I remembered something my father, Thomas Wayne, used to say to me before bed sometimes. Back when I was a boy and I'd had a bad day, when I'd fallen down in the ground or skinned my knee, at the end of a day like that, He'd pat my shoulder and he'd say, Bruce, tomorrow is one dream away. That was his phrase. Sentimental, I know. But still, it worked for me. Now, as most of you know, my father died when I was just a boy. He was gunned down along with my mother in Crime Alley across town. And as you can imagine, the days following his death were the worst of my life. Days of anger and fear and sadness. Still, that phrase, my father's phrase, tomorrow is one dream away. It kept coming back to me, and deep down, I knew much as it hurt right then, things would get better. Now, why am I telling you this? Well, Gothamites, citizens, friends, my point is this. When circumstances are challenging or frightening, asking ourselves what our city is, is pointless. Because all we see, when we look around at the buildings and the streets below our shoes, will be our own fears, our own frustrations, our own demons. But if we stop looking to the present and the past, and instead we look to the future, if we ask ourselves what can be, what will be tomorrow, then we're asking the right question. Because to hope, to dream, to predict is to shape the city yourself rather than be shaped by it. So putting my money where my mouth is, next month, Wayne Enterprises will begin investing aggressively and immediately in Gotham's future. Working with various domestic design firms, we've already set in motion an initiative to rebuild some of Gotham's most derelict industrial neighborhoods. From there, we will plan on moving boldly to expand and modernize Gotham's public transit system. I cannot tell you how excited, how hopeful I am about these plans. Much more will be revealed in the coming days, but for now, I ask you to do this. Look past what Gotham was, what Gotham is, and imagine with me just for a moment. Gotham as it will be, as it should be. Thank you. Now what I ask of you, friends, 
is to invest with me. Invest in Gotham's future. Because I promise you, if we can all do that together, a better, brighter Gotham is one dream away. Well done, Bruce. Real inspiring. Thank you, Dick. Though you did fail to mention the myriad of new bat bunkers you'll be building throughout the city. Huh. Must have slipped my mind. Next presentation, maybe. And you just gotta show the Batmobile while you're at it. <laughs> I must say, that was quite the speech, Bruce. I don't think we've met. The name's Lincoln March. Mayor-elect and underwrote Leslie Thompkins' satellite clinic on the east side. Oh, yes. That Lincoln March. I'm familiar with what you've done for the clinic. Wow. I'm impressed. <laughs> I tend to do that. Does that mean I have your vote? That depends. Do I have yours? On this? I'm certainly interested. Personally, I'm interested in what you'll do for this city. I believe in what you are doing for this city. This initiative to rebuild Gotham. It's a good thing. And to be frank, I see a friend in you. A cynic would say you see an opportunity. <laughs> That's true. And a cynic would say you're spearheading this new Gotham initiative for the image of your company because it's a public holding, and so on, for private purposes. Is that what the gossips say? Some. Maybe they're right. Dick and I should be going. You know, Bruce, I lost my parents when I was a boy too. What do Thomas and Martha have anything to do with this conversation? And didn't you lose your parents as well, Dick Grayson? Back off, man. Sensitive subjects here. It's strange, isn't it? The way it's just the details. The details that stay with you. I can barely remember my mother's face anymore. Dick, honey, it's okay. Oh, son. Do you know how terrified I was of my first go around without the net? I know I could do it. It's just I'm scared to die. I'm scared I'll fall to my death. I'm scared I'll lose you guys. I promise both your father and I aren't going anywhere. And you certainly aren't either. The only place we'll be going is to the other side of that trapeze. Yeah, what well, your mother said. If you aren't ready to go without the net, we can always postpone it to a later date. I know you're ready, son. No, no, it, it's fine. I, I got this. Yeah, I, I got this. Are you sure, kiddo? You're sure? I'm sure. I got this. Yeah, yeah. But, see? I remember this pin. Clear as day. This pin she was wearing the day of the accident. I'd made it for her at school in ceramics. It was this little heart. But it was all lopsided, with one side bigger than the other. She was wearing it pinned to this fancy dress of hers. My ugly little pin. I don't remember the drunk driver hitting us. I don't remember much of the accident. Ready, everyone? Dad, I... Just let me practice. I do remember seeing the pin on the ground, though, as paramedics took me away. The pin, perfectly preserved, not cracked or broken, just lying in the road. All I wanted was for someone to pick it up. He's got nothing left. No relatives, no brothers, no sisters, or anything of the like. This poor kid's got nowhere to go, Bruce. I'll take him in. I lost everything I had that night. For a long time after, I lived in a state of total hopelessness. I hated the world. But then, I got funding for school. I was able to go to City College. The city saved me, Bruce. Gotham saved me. It gave me a purpose when I was alone, just like I'll bet it did for you. When I look at you, I see an ally, a real one. And as I'm sure you know, this city is a city where allies are few and far between. Especially now. Especially now. Why? Something bad has reemerged in Gotham, Bruce. Something ancient and 
powerful and evil. Ah! Shit, Harvey Bullock. If you think you could scare me, Lincoln. Careful, Dick. I know to be careful, Bruce. Go for the solar plexus. And mandibular nerve. <clears throat> ha! <sighs> Doesn't make any sense. What, that he's not even flinching and we're applying over 100 pounds of pressure? But it only takes 11 pounds of pressure to collapse a windpipe. <clears throat> Bruce Wayne, the God of Owls sentenced you and Lincoln March to death. Your time is now. He talks? Now he does. How I love ending Wayne's. What did you say? <laughs> Historically, Cities are places of superstition. After all, people come to them from all over the world, from small towns and villages, places they've lived for generations, to inhabit giant mazes of glass and steel, shadow and merciless light. They'd cling to beliefs from home about what keeps you safe, what to avoid. A black cat crosses your path, they'll be plagued by bad luck. A 13th guest at a dinner means someone in the party will die at midnight. My grandfather, Alan Wayne, understood the power of superstition. As such, he was one of the first men to eliminate a 13th floor from one of his buildings. Funny thing though, to really make good on the superstition, you were supposed to leave a small space in the building between floors 12 and 14. A false floor to contain the bad luck of number 13. A space sealed off from the world and accessible. Just a blank slot in the building, an absence like a breath held when passing a graveyard. A space just big enough, in theory, for a man to hide in. Perhaps a killer dressed like an owl. I'm sorry about Bullock, Jim. Whoever did it is behind the rest of this. This coin was left at the crime scene. It's got an owl on it. The same owl I saw in their base of operations. Their base? They're real, Jim. But damn nursery rhyme. <clears throat> the guy who took out March must have been the Talon. That's right. I think we jinxed it when we said the city was becoming more and more chaotic by the day. You know where we are right now. Where? Owls are one of the rare birds that don't build their own nest. Instead, what they do is find nests abandoned or in use by rival birds and take them over. In essence, they invade an enemy's territory. One of their nests, I presume. Mm -hmm. ah! I don't get into the field as often anymore since my promotion. Uh huh. So it seems ancient. The suit looks to be out of the 1800s. It is. Uh, right. June 22nd, 1891. You always gotta check behind the painting. A map. It looks to be only one piece, though. Hmm. Where does it lead? What is it off? Their base. Were you there? Don't you already know where it is? I was taken there. I see. I can't believe you wore that thing. What's wrong with it? I don't know, it just looks sort of 
tight. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I'll bet. What happened with Lincoln March the other day really got me thinking, Barbara. What did he say? Him and Bruce were on the topic of their parents, and that's when he turned to me. Dick. Lincoln brought up how you remember the details, and... I can assure you that if your parents saw what you've become, they'd have the biggest smile on their faces. <laughs> My parents would eat all this Robin stuff up. I can't relate to losing a loved one per se, but I can say that my mother walked out on us when I was too young to remember it. She just left my dad to raise a girl all by himself. Jeez, can you imagine how hard that would have been? I'm sorry, Barbara, but at least you have him, right? I know, but he makes me want to pull my hair out sometimes. <laughs> and you can call me Babs. That's what my friends call me. Got it, Babs. Alrighty then, Richard. No, just no. You know, the way Lincoln spoke about the court seemed like he had some knowledge of them. You think we should go see him? I should probably ask Bruce if. He'll be fine. Come on, Grayson. Alright, well, it looks like we're taking a trip to Gotham General Hospital. Three down. One more to go. Our map is almost complete. This one's different from the others. A dinner. That smell. Rotting flesh. Dear God. It looks like they keep their nests intact. The first one was 1891, then 1950, 1990. This one must be recent meaning. These bodies are fresh. They the court murdered their own? Conflict in circle happens all the time. They must have left the bodies here to prove a point. They wanted someone to find them. It certainly seems that way. June 13th, 2006. Ah! You know, we could probably make a mint if we sold all. Quiet. Bingo. Boom. Took wow. you that long, but well done. Come on, do the two of you not recognize me? It's only been a year and a half. Enigma. With everything going on, him breaking out of Arkham went right under our noses. I had a little help from my friend. You're going back to where you came from. You see, I'm not here to fight with you, uh, Batman. I'm here to help you. Everything you did was built on lies. How can you expect me to trust you? Riddles do not lie, Batman. They only admit the truth. That is all I was doing. Nothing wrong then, and nothing wrong now! You killed numerous people, Nashton. Nashton did not kill those people. Edward Nigma the Riddler did. It was all for a cause, James Gordon. A cause? Damn you, Riddler! You killed some good men. Crooked men, but good people. Not for this godforsaken city. Well, it got what was coming for him all those years back. The one good deed they did. I don't want to hear his name come out of your mouth again. Do you hear me? <laughs> Jim, keep it together. <laughs> what do you know about the Court of Owls? You know me. I would have known about them for who knows how long now. It was quite amusing watching you go in circles, pacing back and forth, looking for the clues while I knew of their existence this entire time. And you didn't think to tell us, huh? That would have taken the fun out of it. What else do you know? All that is known. You know. My friend and I can take you to the labyrinth. Where they are, let us give you a hand, Batman. Who's your friend, Nigma? Are we really going with this? That'd spoil the grand reveal he wants to dedicate to you, Batman! Then that's the end of this discussion. You know, my little solved riddle. We both have the same goal here. But if you get in our way, we won't hesitate to take you down. It seems you now know. Matt, our friend. You will die just like your father, along with the Wayne sins.
Spike in March. Aren't you a little too injured to be jumping out of a window? Robin and Batgirl? That's us. Lay down, Mr. March. You're injured. Oh, I'm just fine. I need to get out of here. Why are you in such a rush to get out of here? I need to get out of here. I can't be late. You can't miss it either. Was he like this last time? Worse than before. The labyrinth. Does that sound familiar to you? Doesn't ring a bell. They see all. Lincoln? Hey, take some deep breaths. <laughs> what is your affiliation with the Court of Owls, March? Wouldn't you like to know, Dick Grayson? I don't know who you're talking about. Look at Barbara Gordon on the floor there. I don't think her father would be fond of this. How do you know that name? The Court of Owls knows all. They told me my truth, just like they know you and Bruce's. The Waynes and the Graysons are not what they seem. They've been awaiting you, Grayson. What are you talking about? The Court of Owls will be seeing you now. <laughs> you alright? Totally fine. You heard that, right? We gotta get to that labyrinth. It's gotta be their base, right? Where the map leads to? Ah! Ah! Please, please stop! <laughs> I have to make sure your skin is just right for my creation. <laughs> now let's make that flesh into a perfect doll-like complexion. Martin Mathis, <laughs> the mind behind the dolls of human flesh, doll maker. What a joy! <laughs> Aren't you the John Doe? One could say that. You want me to create one for you? No, no. You see, doll maker, I have a little date coming up. Us maniacs aren't really the dating types. A date with destiny. A date with my destiny. A new look it is, then. PD, you and your little fat family. The Court of Owls, you're all the same. You are what is wrong. You think you saved this city. Ah, you're slipping, Edward. I think you saved my life wouldn't save me. <laughs> no! Are you alright, Jim? There's a few bruises and some mild burns. Nothing that I haven't had before. Lost my flashlight. How about you? Batman! It's nothing. Was it one of the owls? The other Don't say it. What's gotten into you? Do you not understand? All this needs to end before any more lives are lost. I could have saved him, Jim. I could have. You did all you could. Riddler chose his path. Just like Alan. Just like Thomas. And just like Martha. The Wings and the Graysons are not what they seem. You will die just like your father, along with your sins. I can't continue to let them get to this city and the ones around me. What did the one in the cloak mean by, just like your father? Who's your father, Batman? How have they know who you are? Jim, you know our deal. Nobody, not even you must know who I am under the mask, not for any reason. Your father is directly involved. It becomes a concern. There's one thing I ask you in all of this. Anything, Batman. Check on Barbara. Don't get caught up in all of this. Damn. 
Bruce. You're back. Mm -hmm. Do you have the map? So we go into the sewers of Gotham. That's uh, what it looks like. The, the map, it's all charred. What happened? They were there again. They said I died just like my father with my sins. Blew up the whole building. Did everyone make it? Riddler was there too. He asked me and your father to work with him, Barbara. Well? I was able to save your father. He's fine. But Nigma didn't want saving. He said that would make him just like the GCPD, the court, and us. They'd never listen. We saw Lincoln. Lincoln March. What are you talking about? The way he spoke about the Court of Owls, Bruce, he seemed to be very familiar with them. You should have run this by me first, Dick. I'm sorry, Bruce. It was in the heat of the moment. I, I get it. I know, I was reckless. It wasn't something you or my dad were going to do. You could have been killed. Bruce, what if they've already killed Alfred? Don't even say that. He knows who we are, Bruce. Even Barbara. What he said, he made it seem like they know our every move. Almost like they can see the future. I know it sounds ridiculous, but... What did March say? He said he couldn't be late to something, and that we couldn't either. The labyrinth? Do they have owls underwater? That's no owl. You're not welcome here. Crocodile? <laughs> the Batman. I will remember your scent. He talks? I am Killer Croc. <laughs> Next time, Bat. <laughs> I hope we don't have to see him again. He, he's scaling. <sighs> this way. Recognize me, my son. No. No! I'm your mother, Bruce. You are not my mother. You are right. I <laughs> am her sins. Ah! Keep doing this to yourself, Barbara. Dad and Mom? I can do whatever I want, Jim. It's the only thing that makes me feel any better. I can help you, Barbara. You just need to let me. I don't want your fucking help, James. Damn it, Barbara. Hush. You're safe with Mommy, Barbara. You know why James, James really Gordon, Gordon, Gordon does, does what he does, Batgirl? You're not my father. You're right, right Batgirl. Girl. I am just as Martha here to Bruce. What went on for centuries comes to an end today. He helps you because he wants to do what he couldn't do for your mother. Ugh. It's just the truth, Barbara. You're not my father. You're just a figment of my imagination. You're right about one thing, but you see, we see all. Haley Circus? No, 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 no. I wonder if Mom and Dad are here. No, no, Dick. Stay in control. It's all in your head. So we're gonna play the quiet game then, okay? Dick Grayson. None of this is working. You aren't getting in my head. My name is William Cobb. Are you trying to be personable? I know it's been on your mind ever since Bruce told you. 
I don't know what you're talking about. It'd be quite unfortunate if Alfred Pennyworth's life came to an unfortunate and abrupt end. Don't you say his name! You see, young Grayson, Haley Circus was a selection ground for the Talons because of valuable contenders for their acrobatics, of course. My family has no tie to the Court of Owls. And that's what you had thought. That's not them. Not them, Dick. Not them. But they knew. They didn't want to tell you the past to keep you safe. To protect you. Who are you under that mask? I told you, Dick. I am William Cobb. I am your grandfather. My grandfather is dead. What? What? And you know, you are next in line to be the next Talon until... You know, your parents were murdered, and Bruce took you in. Who murdered my parents? That is something you must find out on your own, young Grayson. Tell me! Fulfill your destiny, and then you will know all. You will know who murdered your parents. Where is Alfred? Maybe that's something you you had fulfilled your destiny. What is going on? Master Dick. Alfred. I saw all of that. You did? I did. And let me just say, I am very proud of you, Master Dick. Thank you, Alfred. Maybe one day you'll wear the cowl. I doubt it, but thanks, Alfred. That must have been very difficult to take in. I'll be fine, Al. I'll be fine. Whoa, you, your eye. It's nothing, sir. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. They're everywhere! Don't you see? The 13th hour! It's upon us! They're coming! Watch where you're going, Wayne. Wayne? And their nests... Their nests are all around! So that's what all that money does to your head, huh? My grandfather. The Court of Owls sentenced Alan Wayne to death. <laughs> what are you? That is left for you to interpret, Moose Wayne. What you have been doing to Gotham and its people for centuries comes to an end. You've laid in our nests, but it looks like you've missed one of your own. You had one of your bases in Wayne Tower? No, no. In your grandfather's estate. You were the ones responsible for his murder. You were sentenced to death because you were beginning to become a nuisance, just like your grandfather did. What about my parents? They left before we could. The Graysons are not unlike the Waves. There is more to that, Bruce. Don't you do anything to Dick. Dick's destiny is his destiny. Whatever happens there has already been decided. What are you going to do to him? Your mother and father, Bruce. Don't you hurt my son. I couldn't be more happy to have you here today. Take a seat, take a seat. Thomas Wayne. Carmine Falcone. I never thought the day would come where I'd have the Thomas Wayne. 
in my company. All right. All right, so what is it? I need Luke Vale dead. <laughs> Carmine. The golden boy of Gotham wants to get blood on his hands. He has a story that cannot get out there for the sake of my family. What does this story entail, Thomas? I'm not going to disclose that information. You know, if you want me to get someone to do the job, you gotta give me the details. Carmine. Wayne, Wayne, Wayne. How would your family like it if they knew you wanted to have someone put down like a dog? This is both Martha and I's doing. So both of you are the Grim Reaper. <laughs> what about little Bruce? I'm sure he'd like to know Daddy's a murderer. Stop it. What's so detrimental about this story, huh? Your father, a murderer. Your mother? Stop. Only the truth, Wayne. Make it stop! Make it stop! You cannot handle the truth! Ah. Your parents were sentenced to death because of the threat they posed to us. They thought they were selfless individuals helping others, but really, they were just selfish and sick in the head. Just like you, Bruce. No! Dick. Alfred. Master Bruce. Bruce? No, it's not them. The Dark Knight Fall. Alfred. Dick? You got him. Babs. I see you've picked up another daring child along the way, Master Bruce. It's not what it looks like. The owl showed me something that I didn't want to see. The owl. I know what you meant now, Bruce. Dick. What did it show you? It's more of them than I've ever seen before. is extremely appreciated at a time like this, Mr. Wayne. Mr. Wayne. Oh yes, Larry, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You know what sounds nice right now, Larry? And what is that, Mr. Wayne? A glass of water. Do you mind if I go and get one? Oh, not at all, not at all. I'll be right back. Joker. I found this. I think it belongs to you. so funny, Doe. Oh, that joke that Batsy told was quite the funny one. John Doe. <laughs> if you call me someone else again, that joke will get very, very old, Batman. He's calling you by your name. What's so funny about that? I don't know who John <gasps> Doe is, Robin. I am the Joker, man! <laughs> However, the award for the best joke today goes to the screams of those owls as I Cook them like hot dogs on the 4th of July. Hoot, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Joker, you said it. You said it. <laughs> no, no. Where did he go? Where's Stone? Gone. It's good to have you back, Al. I thought it was possible I might die back there, Lucius. You're lucky you got out of there with just losing an eye. The Court of Owls. I do hope they are gone. They have to be. Are you content with the way they were stopped? Unfortunately, I don't have an answer for that one, Mr. Fox. If you don't mind me asking you, Al, what else happened there? What do you mean? Bruce, he hasn't said a word to me since you got back. No DNA trace, no nothing. And they're gone just like that. Nothing like ever before. Jim. What in the world? What is it, Jim? This Court of Owls case just gets stranger and stranger. What did you find? You know where you said the lab worth and Jawara. Joker, whatever we're calling him these days, was located. Mm -hmm. Well. Here are the bunch of my men, and there's just nothing here. What the heck? Are you sure you have the correct location? Positive. I mean, you did say don't burn them all alive. But then again, that wouldn't mean their whole base operations would vanish into thin air. Or would it? What are you saying, Robin? Whatever the Court of Owls were, they were out of the ordinary. Those weren't regular people. Whatever they are, however they pulled it off, Surely it wasn't technological or supernatural, but something else. Or are talking like Flash or Poison Ivy? Neither. We can rule out metahumans. Something that I can't put into words. Something we can't comprehend. How did they know all for centuries? Batman, will we ever know? I'm trying, Jim. How did the Joker do that? They avoided centuries of discovery, and suddenly, one man takes down an entire conspiratorial cult. Bruce, what do we do? For the first time, I don't know. How am I supposed to feel? That was my life! The circus! Was it actually a selection ground for the owls? Dick, keep your head straight. How am I supposed to feel that if my parents weren't taken away from me, then I would have been next? Dick... No, Bruce. This needs to be talked about. I am sick and tired of you always shutting me down when there is a matter at hand that we have to talk about. Richard John Grayson, that is enough. Don't act like this isn't bothering you too, because I saw what you were digging into. How your parents were greedy and selfish people. <laughs> Dick, I... No, Bruce. That is it. I thought once I came into the picture there was a chance for you. You saw that there was a brighter future that you had a family again. That you moved on from the obsession of your parents' murderer. That you were no longer vengeful. But I guess that isn't the case. I'm interrupting something, aren't I? Get out of here. I should be here for the family drama, shouldn't I, Bruce? If you lay a hand on him. After all, I am them. What are you talking about? <laughs> Lincoln. Okay, okay, I'll talk. Just let me go. <laughs> talk. The story I told you. You remember it. The accident. Yes, that one. Who are you really? That is not of concern right now. You're delusional, March. The story I told you about my mother. You see, it wasn't all truth. What could you possibly be talking about? The accident happened. My mother was injured, but it did not kill her. That day, I was instead separated from my family, and then thrown into an orphanage to never see them again. My birth name was Thomas Wade Jr. I am your brother, Bruce. I don't have a brother. My parents never mentioned a brother. Alfred never mentioned a brother. Why would they go ahead and tell their son, hey, you have a brother, and he was taken away from us at a young age due to our irresponsibility of getting into a car accident, Bruce. 
You speak lies. Just like the court's lies, then, huh? The sins of our parents. You need to shut up! You know, I know so much about the Court of Owls because I was next in line. I was supposed to be the next town until they tossed me to the side. They realized you were ready, Grayson. You see the suit I wear? This was what I wore. I, the Talon, me! <laughs> the Court of Owls are gone. And who did that, Bruce? Who did that? Because it surely wasn't you. It wasn't a victory. They weren't brought to justice, were they? I, I knew all. I saw all. I knew all. I saw all. I knew all. I saw all. What just happened? A psychological syndrome, that's what. If you had a brother, I figure you would have been aware of it. Because, you know, you know everything. going on, but you haven't been home in a week and haven't answered a single call or text from your own father. Things are getting very bad here. I don't know what is going to happen. It hasn't been this bad before. So if they were to happen to me, I just wanted to let you know that I love you and always will. Dad. <sighs> What's happening here, Vicky? Something disturbing, Jack. GCPD is under lockdown as an unknown individual is reportedly holding everyone hostage. The individual who entered the building was described as having green hair, white skin, almost like a clown, as well as a purple suit. Joker. <laughs> you to repeat that. <laughs> <laughs> now that's what I call starting the show with a bang. <laughs> the real show hasn't even begun. When he gets here, it will. <laughs> Joker, he's got GCPD under lockdown with everyone in there hostage. What? Bale and Ryder just reported it. The two of you didn't know? What about your little friend over there? I've given him a strong sedative to keep him sleeping. Lucius will keep an eye on him. Okay. We got no time to waste. Who knows what Joker's done already? Nygma. Didn't you say- Yes. I did. What? Hi, Diddle Dee, Great Detective! How are you, Edward? In good strides, my friend. I am feeling the best I've ever felt. In fact, you might even say I'm feeling glorious! Not a scratch. Look behind you, Bruce. <laughs> Oh, 
becomes mystery. The world's greatest riddle of all time. Who the Batman is? That I wouldn't have done it without the oh so beautiful court of owls. <laughs> Hello, Dick. Hello, Miss Gordon. Isn't it about time I met the flightless bird? What you did to the city. You mean what I'm doing for the city? You tried killing the entire GCPD, you madman! Hush, Dicky boy! If another word comes out of that mouth, you are going to end up like Bruce over there. You think I'm scared of you? And you! Barbara! Oh, Barbara! What is after my time as Gotham's king? You tried to kill my father and turn the city into a living hell. Ah, you don't get it! You don't get it, do you, nitwits? You're right, Riddler. We don't get it. And we never will. You're just gonna end up behind those bars again. Oh, but you see, this time, it's different. We will stop you. Will you? Lucius, however, will get it. <coughs> Lucius! <coughs> you better think carefully, dearest Dick Grayson. If not, Lucius will end up like some nicely mashed potatoes on Thanksgiving. You are done! Barbara, wait! I'm becoming quite tired of this. <gasps> oh. Now, shall we pick back up where we left off? Whatever you are doing, Edward Nigma, they are going to stop it. One way or another, in the end, they will. Thank you for being a very pleasant distraction. We should be going off any second! Riddler, I swear, if you... Ah! Ah! No, no, no. Lucius! Ow. M Master Bruce. What? What has he done? I'm afraid, sir. What has he done? He has killed Mr. Fox. Oh my. Bruce. Uh, what have you done? I did it, Bruce. I finally did it. You psychopath. Me being here was just a mere delay. See that water? <laughs> Riddler! Just needed to make sure someone kept you occupied while the five bombs planted around the Wayne test sites went off. <laughs> Why Wayne test sites? Did I mention this will cause a slew of flooding for the city? And you see, I wasn't going to let what happened last time with Cobblepot happen once more. While my friend the Joker destroys the GCPD, I destroy you once and for all. The city is mine now! <laughs> Run in hell, you hear me? You. What about? Ah, yes, the pale imitation. What? There's one more thing you should know. Yeah? Before you die? Oh, don't worry. I'll take care of that. <laughs> it was nice seeing you in the hospital, Lincoln. Putting my little ticking friend in your head was a real pleasure. I sure do have one hell of a bedside batter. <laughs> We're about to get very drunk, boys. <laughs> I hope you brought your floaties. <laughs> Oh god, everybody run! <laughs>
Dear God. Bruce! He's flooded the city. He planted bombs around the Wayne test sites. Dick, we have to go. Need a hand? I'm fine just on my own. Get to the roof. Something amidst all your junk and toiletries that belongs to me, Penguin. To tell me what it is, anything. All of Gotham's garbage is here, correct? Mm-hmm. Ace chemicals? The, 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 the... What, Penguin? What is it? Do you even know what it is? What it's even made out of? The, the, the... Joker do all of this. Enigma survived. It's not all Joker's doing. Every last one of them are gone. Every man I knew. All my men drowned to death. Too many men have fallen today. My daughter could be dead for all I know. When Bullock, I didn't think it could get any worse. I had to get a little something. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful, my friend? It surely is. This was a great idea of yours. I brought it into it all. To what Gotham is. Now I can have my date with destiny. <laughs> you know, Joker, he is. I am sorry. I really am. <laughs> or am I? <laughs> what? You were only a tool to get to the Batman, Schmedward. I've been playing along with your game for this whole time. Bruce Wayne is not Batman? Are you crazy? <laughs> you really believe what those court of owls say? He is. He is. The answer to the greatest riddle of all time is that Bruce Wayne is Batman. <laughs> Enough with your riddles and games. I used you to get to Batman. Me and him are meant for each other. And you did a real whacker job at getting me here. I saw him under the mask. He is. You care about corruption and Batman, you see. I only care about one of those. You can have fun ruling what you've made with this city. Do not get in my way, or else I'll give you the real riddle. <laughs> Oh, hello there. Joker. How I missed you, Bats. Why are you doing all this? The whole flooding of the city wasn't on me. You can thank the Riddler for that. Where is he? How am I supposed to know? I was just using him to get to you, after all. <laughs> Tell me. Tone it down, Batsy, will ya? Quiet, quiet, quiet. Bruce Wayne? Bruce Wayne? Were they mad? <laughs> what about him? 
Oh, Ridley really believed that you were Bruce Wayne. <laughs> he said that the greatest riddle of all time was that Bruce Wayne was Batman. But you see, that is the greatest joke of all time. Because of how funny it is. <laughs> I had to go along with it to get to you. You are not Bruce Wayne. <laughs> I killed that boy's parents. Chances are he's out there just as loony as I. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, kid. See you around. <laughs> Napier was who murdered Thomas and Martha Wayne. And you know John Doe, he was Red Hood. And I'm the Joker. <laughs> you and me, Batman, we were meant for each other. Enough. Oh, you don't want me? Well, I want you. You are my greatest. <laughs> I am not going to play your games. <laughs> Huh! <laughs> Here. Well, two actually. <laughs> you see, I filled this blimp with gas that makes all of Gotham laugh permanent smiles for every girl and boy. <laughs> and the kicker is the Red Hood helmet filled with one of the finest doses of my signature Joker gas. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you see that, bad girl? Some type of gas is coming out of this helmet. Don't breathe. <coughs> Commissioner. Are you all right? <laughs> Commissioner! <laughs> what did the joke do to you? You can fight this, Commissioner. I know how strong you are, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> and that would be just us two. Well, until Robin interrupted our little moment. You and Riddler have decimated an entire city. 
only thing who ever has survived into zombies. Don't insult him like that. Robin, get to the cockpit and bring this thing into the ocean. Are you out of your mind? It's either that or we have a Gotham full of jokers. Pick your poison. Do you really think of me like that? Now I'm insulting. Robin, go. <sighs> You gotta be kidding me. Ah, oh, that's why can't you ever just go with the flow? Ah, you're a madman, Joker. Does this impress you though? Uh, I'm not like the rest cats. I'm your reason theater. Ah. <laughs> oh, come on, Batman. You can fight harder than that. <laughs> it's you and me, Patsy. And at the end of the day, you not live without me. <laughs> really? Oh boy. First the Batmobile, now a blend. Here goes nothing! No fun! You two are absolutely no fun at all! join you tonight on the six month anniversary of when our city became a no man's land. When we were put into martial law, we began a new frontier, ruled by the Riddler. Our king says that he would like to remember the ones we lost on that day. Lucius Fox, Vicky Vale, Lincoln March, and Oswald Cobblepot. Oh, who's a good boy? To think we got Ace as a support animal for you, Master Dick. Look at him now, being one for all of us. Ace! <laughs> <laughs> when is our guest expected, Master Bruce? Guest? I wasn't told about a guest. He should be here shortly. Hello! Um... It's been a long time. Bruce Wayne. Right! I don't even remember the last time I saw you. Hi, guest. You must be Dick Grayson. I've heard so much about you. I really am sorry, but who are you exactly? Dick. Meet Luke Fox. It's nice to meet you, Dick. He follows in his father's footsteps. He wanted to honor his father by taking up his role of tech supervisor for Wayne Enterprises. I thought it was the least I could do. I've, uh... I've always had an interest in it. It's good to see you again after so long. It really is. How is he? They say he doesn't have a good chance of making it out. He's still in a coma and still jokerized. I am so sorry, Babs. You shouldn't be apologizing to me, Dick. This isn't your fault. It's mine. No, it's not. You did everything you could. This could be the last time we ever see each other. What do you mean? That girl is done. I'm leaving this life behind and moving to Burnside into an apartment with my friend Alyssa. Will you promise me one thing, though? Sure. Anything. That you'll be okay. here, Al. I'm thankful for everything you've done for me, Master Bruce. I still can't get that image out of my head of Lucius. His body turned into nothing in an instant. Truly mortifying. Jim isn't gonna make it, and this city is a no-man's land being ruled by Edward Nigma. He finally got what he wanted one way or another. 
the city became what he wanted it to be, and he got rid of everything he saw corrupt. He won. Do you remember Lincoln Marge, Master Bruce? How could I not? Do you remember the story he told you? He claimed that he was my brother, Thomas Wayne Jr. Yes, well, I didn't know how to tell you this then, or now. What is it, Hal? Including what you found about Thomas and Martha from the court. All was true, but there was something else they were covering up. And what was that? You did have a brother. A Thomas Wayne Jr. And he is Riddler. What? I didn't believe it at first myself, but I'm afraid it's all true. Thomas and Martha put him in an orphanage, but before that they changed his name to Edward Ashton, as to separate him from the family name. It could also explain why he went after the Wayne Tessites. Bruce? Alfred? Yes, Luke? Signal's gone up. Bruce? Yes, Dick? Do you think Gotham will ever go back to normal? Or at least the way we considered it normal? Maybe. Maybe not. But we won't know unless we try. Can we... Talk about it? Yeah. I won't be able to see my mother and father the same ever again. What did he tell you? Lincoln March was a nut, but he was right about one thing. You have a brother? Yes. And my parents lied about that too. About what? Edward Nashton. Your brother is... Does he know? That I don't know. But it would be surprising if he didn't, considering he knows each and every little thing. During the last few months, I couldn't stop thinking that if my parents never died, if you never took me in, I would have become Talon. Everything happens for a reason, Dick. That is what I've come to believe. It's good to know my parents were good people at the end of the day, but there's a lot ahead of us, Bruce. I can tell you that. That's right, Robin. <laughs> going to fight you. I don't want any of us to end up killing the other, but we are running out of alternatives. Perhaps it all hinges on tonight. I don't know what it was that bent your life out of shape, but maybe I've been there too. Maybe we can work together. I can rehabilitate you. You don't need to be alone. We don't have to kill each other. Let me help you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But no, no, it's far too late for that. You know, it's, it's funny. <laughs> this reminds me of a joke. See, there were these two guys in a lunatic asylum. And one night they decide that they don't like living in an asylum anymore. So they decide they're going to escape. So like they get up onto the roof and they're just Across this narrow gap, they see the rooftops of the town stretching away into the moonlight. Stretching away to freedom. So now the first guy, he jumps right across with no problem. But his friend, his friend daren't make it the leap. You see, you see, he's afraid of falling. So then the first guy has an idea. He says, hey, I have a flashlight with me and I'll shine it across the gap between the buildings. Then you can walk across the beam and join me. But the second guy just shakes his head. He says, he says, What do you think I am, crazy? You would just turn it off when I was halfway across. <laughs> when the world is full of care. Every headline screams despair When all is great, starvation, war, and life is vile <laughs> Then there's a certain thing I do Which I shall pass along to you That's always guaranteed to make me smile Yes! I go gloomy As a light bulb battered bug Sometimes cold and chew the rug. Miss 
delighted swell in a padded cell It'll chase those wheels away You can trade your gloom for a rubber room And injections twice a day Just go loony like an acid casualty Or a loony or a preacher on TV <laughs> When the human race Wears an anxious face When the bomb hangs overhead When your kid turns blue It won't worry you You can smile and nod instead for me for today. Ah, you must be the Joker. Strange put me to you. You know, sweets, I like what I've heard about you. Oh, yeah? What have you heard? Hmm, Harleen Quinn. We work it a bit and you get Harley Quinn. <laughs> Harley Quinn, I know. Like the clown character. took your word of advice, Al. Which of my advice? There has been a great many. That after what happened at Gotham, I should open myself up to the world, so nothing goes under my nose ever again. To be aware of all, I call it the Tower of Babel. I'll have my connections and also be aware of everyone's weaknesses, even my own. And where do you begin with this Tower of Babel, sir? With Superman. He is a hero, though, Master Bruce. That is where you are wrong, Alfred. He has done a lot for Metropolis, but at the end of the day, he causes more problems than he solves. Before anything can happen, I will take care of him. Very well, Master Bruce. But I must meet with one of my contacts. She knows some things. On Superman? No, something else. Batman. Dinah Lance. Black Canary. Gotham is not even considered a part of the U.S. anymore. Jesus. So they tell me. Now, tell me what you know about the League of Assassins.
Underneath there. How could he let the city turn to this? <laughs>